Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Captain Thomas P. Leathers was a colorful and dynamic captain of a number of steamboats, including at least seven that were named Natchez. His Natchez No. 6 made 401 trips without accident in the New Orleans to Vicksburg trade route in an era with little or no safety regulations. In an attempt to distinguish a later version of the Natchez from other steamboats tied up at the wharf in New Orleans, Leathers strung a bale of cotton between the ship's two tall smokestacks, which he had painted red rather than the traditional black. Perhaps the most famous Natchez, of course, was the one that participated in the celebrated race with the Robert E. Lee on the Mississippi River in 1870. Leathers and the Natchez lost the race by a little over six hours due to a dense fog. A native of Kentucky, Leathers had begun his career on the Yazoo River in 1836, but had his greatest financial success in the Lower River cotton trade. Recognized as a shrewd businessman, Leathers was also known for his flamboyant appearance and personality. He was a staunch Confederate and was said to have defiantly flown the stars and bars on his boat for years after the Civil War. Leathers divided his time between a Garden District residence in New Orleans and Myrtle Terrace, his Natchez home, both of which survive today. Sadly, Leathers was killed on St. Charles Avenue in New Orleans when he was run over by a hit-and-run bicyclist. His son and daughter-in-law, the path-breaking female steamboat captain Blanche D. Leathers, succeeded him with the Natchez No. 10. That boat was dismantled in 1918 after Mrs. Leathers' long and compelling career. I'm Sally Durkin, a Natchez resident. My grandfather bought Myrtle Terrace in 1940, and it's been in my family ever since. And this has been your Natchez History Minute.